exercise 3.6 question number 2 formulate the following problems as a pair of equations and find their solutions first Ritu can row downstream 20 km in 2 hours and upstream 4 km in 2 hours find her speed of rowing in still water and the speed of the current so let the speed of Ritu in still water b x kilometer per hour and speed of stream b x kilometer sorry y kilometer per hour so speed of Ritu while rowing upstream will be x minus y kilometer per hour and downstream will be x plus y kilometer per hour so according to the question we have 2 into x plus y is equal to 20 which also implies x plus y is equal to 10 let's say this is equation 1 and 2 into x minus y is equal to 4 which implies x minus y is equal to 2 let's say this is equation 2 now adding equation 1 and equation 2 we will get two x is equal to twelve, which implies x is equal to six. Putting this value, in equation one, we will get six plus y is equal to ten which implies y is equal to four so read to speed in still water is six kilometer per hour and speed of current is 4 km per hour now the second part second is 2 women and 5 men can together finish the embroidery work in 4 days while 3 women and 6 men can finish it in 3 days find the time taken by one woman alone to finish the work and also that taken by one man alone let the number of days taken by woman B 
dx and by a man by so work done by a woman in one day will be 1 by x and work done by a man in one day is equal to 1 by y so according to question we'll have 4 into 2 by x plus 5 by y is equal to 1 which also implies 2 by x plus 5 by y is equal to 1 by 4 let's say this is equation 1 and 3 into 3 by x plus 6 by y is equal to 1 which also implies 3 by x plus 6 by y is equal to 1 by 3 let's say this is equation 2 now putting 1 by x is equal to p and 1 by y is equal to q in these equations we will get 2p plus 5q is equal to 1 by 4 which implies 8p plus 20q is equal to 1 which also implies 8p plus 20q minus 1 is equal to 0 let's say this is equation third and equation 2 will become 3p plus 6q is equal to 1 by 3 which implies 9p plus 18q is equal to 1 which implies 9p plus 18q minus 1 is equal to 0 let's say this is equation 4 now by cross multiplication method we will get 20 minus 20 minus under bracket minus 18 is equal to q by minus 9 minus under bracket minus 8 is equal to 1 by 144 minus 180 so this will become p by minus 2 is equal to q by minus 1 is equal to 1 by minus 36 so this will give p by minus 2 
is equal to 1 by minus 36 and q by minus 1 is equal to 1 by minus 36 this will become p is equal to 1 by 18 and q is equal to 1 by 36 and since p is equal to 1 by x which is also equal to 1 by 18 and q is equal to 1 by y which is also equal to 1 by 36 this will give x is equal to 18 and y is equal to 36 hence number of days taken by a woman is equal to 18 and number of days taken by a man is equal to 36 now the third part third is Rohi travels 300 km to her home partly by train and partly by bus she takes 4 hours if she travels 60 km by train and the remaining by bus if she travels 100 km by train and remaining by bus she takes 10 minutes longer find the speed of the train and the bus separately so let the speed of train is x kilometer per hour and speed of bus is y kilometer per hour so according to the information given in the question we can write 60 by x plus 240 by y is equal to 4 and 100 by x plus 200 by y is equal to 25 by 6 let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 this come from 4 plus 10 by 60 which is equal to 24 plus 1 by 6 is equal to 25 by 6 now putting 1 by x is equal to p and 1 by y is equal to q in this equation we will get 60 p plus 240 q is equal to 4 and 100 p 
plus 200Q is equal to 25 by 6 this implies 600P plus 1200Q is equal to 25. Let's say this is equation third and this is equation fourth. Now multiplying equation three by ten. We will get 600P plus 2400Q is equal to 40. Let's say this is equation fifth. Now subtracting equation four from equation five. Subtracting equation 4 from equation 5, we will get 1200Q is equal to 15, which implies Q is equal to 15 by 1200. 200 which is equal to 1 by 80 let's say this is equation 6 now substituting this value in equation 3 we will get 60p plus 240 into 1 by 80 is equal to 4 this implies 60p plus 3 is equal to 4 which implies 60P is equal to 1 which implies P is equal to 1 by 60 now as we know P is equal to 1 by X and P is equal to 1 by 60 and Q is equal to 1 by Y and Q is equal to 1 by 80 which gives X is equal to 60 and Y is equal to 80 so speed of train is 60 kilometer per hour and speed of bus is 80 kilometer per hour.